are you back with your ex or are you with a new boo asking for us nosy folks? Ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Xavier, and I'm back at y'all with another video. Y'all, don't mind my nail, because it's broke. Don't mind my bump. You know, I'm calling out everything that's wrong. <laughs> Look at him. Look at Float Master Flat. Mm. But I'm be doing a QA, and a a pool Q&A with y'all today. I got on my little baby suit. Yeah, and I'm going to be doing a pool Q&A. Let me show y'all a pie. Where you going? Papa. Y'all, he learning. He know how to turn around. Look at him. Papa. <laughs> yeah, y'all see him? <laughs> come here, Papa. Show them you gotta come. Come on. Kick your leg. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all i'm gonna hop in with him and be asking these questions i got my other phone i literally just asked my youtube and my facebook to send me some questions real quick because i feel like doing a q a and y'all i got my other phone so oh y'all this water's so cold so while i'm watching pa oh my god y'all it is water so, <laughs> this water so cold pa i'll say y'all kids be doing it Oh, yeah, we're gonna get into the first question. I'm gonna go to my YouTube because y'all asked my YouTube and I asked my Facebook to ask me some questions. But my YouTube been coming quick with the questions. Somebody said, What career would you want to pursue if you weren't a YouTuber? What's your goals in life? What's on your bucket list? Oh my god, <laughs> that was three questions. So, what career would you want to pursue if you weren't a YouTuber? I'd be a nurse. If I wasn't a YouTuber, I'd definitely be a nurse. What's your goals in life? My goals in life nowadays, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. My goals is different from way back then because times are different, right? Times are different. It's like nowadays, my goals is just to keep keep me and my kids alive, if that makes sense. Like being safe and making it home to them. You know what? Because you know times have changed. So nowadays, my goals is to get make money. Uh, live comfortably, uh, make it home to my kids, make sure they safe, they fed, and like just to live life, cause life is so short in today's times, like everybody passing away, everybody, you know, life is just short and time is going by fast. So I just, my goal right now, I'm just living. I just wanna live my life with my kids as much as possible. You know what I'm saying? What's on your bucket list? Uh, to travel, travel, travel. I still have, haven't traveled how I want to. On my bucket list is still to travel, 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 travel. Y'all left my wine over there. I do not feel like getting out. I got me wine. Okay, somebody said, are you still dating or are you just focused on you and the kids now? Uh, I'm having fun, y'all. Let me go get my wine. <laughs> you right. right. Let me make sure y'all can see him. Y'all watch Pa. Watch him. Okay, I got the wine, y'all. I got the wine. Okay, what did somebody say? Are you still dating or you just fucking? Oh, I'm having fun, y'all. Like, I am having fun. Like, I'm not dating. I'm not taking nobody serious. I'm not. I'm having fun. Like, I've been exploring. Y'all know I love putting y'all in my business. When I was in Chicago, I, I explored some new things, some, some little kitty cat. <laughs> Oh, you girl, I'm having fun. I'm separated. Ain't no, I pay my own. I'm having fun. You know, life is all about having, I'm having fun. Like, I'm not taking nobody serious. I'm not, I'm having fun, okay? So that was just a little tea for y'all. <laughs> Are you and Blanc working on getting back together? Have you decided if you're moving back to Chicago? Uh, me and Darnell haven't decided. Me and Blocks haven't decided. Nothing as of now. Like, we haven't talked about nothing. We haven't planned nothing. We have, me and him haven't talked about nothing. We just living day by day. And am I still going back to Chicago? I don't know, y'all. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> right, Pa? 
Yeah, I'm still thinking about it, okay? So I'm still thinking. Hi. What you think, Polly? You want back to Chicago? Mm -hmm. Huh? You wanna go back? How do your family and your baby daddy family feel about child not together anymore? Can I get a shout out, Samantha checking in from Chicago out west. Shout out Samantha from Chicago out west, period. And she said, how do me and Darnell family feel about us separating? I feel like both of our families like on the same page as far as like, what is y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? Because when me and Darnell, um, Okay, y'all, so when me and Darnell first decided that, we, when we first put out that we were separating, our, both of our sets, our family was like, what is y'all doing? Like, it, everybody was like, what? Like, what? Like, y'all is tweaking. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all can work that out. But at the same time, our family is supportive of what we want to do at the same time. Like, it's, it's like, they was like, y'all is tweaking. But at the same time, they was like, if that's what y'all want to do, that's y'all life. You know what I'm saying? So that's how they took it. Would you like to get back with Blocks if he could be the man you needed him to be? Of course. What? The kids of the father of my kids? Hell yeah. If he could be the man that I want him to be, we locked in. You know what I'm saying? We locked in. We 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 back at it. You know what I'm saying? But that has to happen. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? So that has to happen. Like, if he could be the man that I need him to be, yes, of course. That's my kid's father. Hell yeah. Period. Somebody said not a question, but I want to see more YouTube and different content with you. I got you, boo. Anastasia from Facebook said that <laughs> she want to see more content with me. Different content. I got you, y'all. I'm, I'm working on my shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on my shit. I feel like this different right here. Pool Q&A. Boobies out. Giving y'all titties. Nah. <laughs> Why don't you go do go giveaways and games with us. So somebody said do giveaways and games with us. That's up to y'all. Y'all want me to do giveaways and games? I can do that. I already was thinking about like raffling off stuff, but I really don't like for my supporters to pay for anything and I to give. You know what I'm saying? I would rather give it away instead of y'all paying for something. But a lot of people are saying like do raffles and stuff like that, but I don't want to do a raffle because y'all will have to pay. I don't know. But it's up to y'all. If y'all want, y'all want me to do start doing giveaways and stuff, I'll do that. Uh, what you and blocks not going got going on? Cause it's definitely giving the family of foe need to come back. <laughs> y'all want us back so bad, huh? Y'all want me and blocks back so bad, huh? Well, y'all need to go take him get his shit together, okay? Like. It takes two, you know what I'm saying? And, and and don't even sit there and be like, Xavier, you too. I get that, but y'all know the women, I feel like women are always more mature, always the one trying to figure it out. And, and the men never, not all men, I feel like most men never, it's like, y'all so fucking stupid. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't want nobody to get up here and tell no, no. No, the men are fucking stupid. Men are fucking stupid. Men are stupid. Somebody said, how tall are you? I'm six foot, six foot tall. Xavier is six, six, zero, six even, six foot tall. When are you signing them papers or are you trying to give your marriage another shot? <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> to be continued. Uh, can I meet you when you move to Chicago? Of course, and I'm also trying to plan a lot of stuff for Chicago, y'all. Like, I want to do a meet and greet when the kids go back to school. I want to do a um, book bag or school supplies giveaway. When I tell y'all that I'm working on my shit and I'm working on a lot, I am, y'all. Like, I am. I got some shit up my sleeve. Are you back with your ex or are you with a new boo asking for us nosy folks? I'm having fun. I'm having fun in the sun with Zaire. Pa, what we doing? Yeah, y'all see, we having fun. We got motion. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we got motion. We got motion. You feel me? <laughs> y'all, Papa ruined the pool vibe. He wanted to come. <laughs> y'all, and I'm a little bit tipsy off the wine. 
Look at him. He wanted to come upstairs and watch SpongeBob. And E. That's not cool, Pa. That's not funny. Uh-uh. I don't want none of that. You watch the SpongeBob? Y'all, he acted a fool downstairs. I already knew he wanted. He wanted to come upstairs and eat and get in front of the TV. And he just comfortable too. <laughs> Oh my God, y'all. Y'all, I'm finna take a shower. Let some of this wine in me die down. So I'm finna get me in a cool shower and um, go to Winter House. Me and Pop finna go to Winter House. <laughs> I know y'all like, Xavier, what is going on with this Q&A, y'all? I am all over the place, per usual. <laughs> I remember when I stopped the Q&A uh, when Pop Pop was crying, so I had to get out the pool. I wanted to do this whole pool Q&A for the aesthetic, but that didn't work. So now it's like I'm in the garden, but I'm in my room. I had to prop my phone up. Yeah, I do not know. I need to give me another tripod. I do not know what's wrong with my tripod. So I be propping my phone up anywhere, and I prop my phone up on my little plant on my dresser. So it look like I'm in the jungle, y'all. <laughs> but let's continue, okay? Somebody said, hey, Miss Xavier, you got me hooked on a movie, Your Honor. Thanks, Miss Cassandra, 62-year-old supporter. Shout out to Cassandra. I can't wait. and I, Well, I can wait, <laughs> but I hope I make it to 62 years old. You're blessed. Thank you for supporting me. All love. And yes, Your Honor was so... If y'all haven't watched Your Honor, I put so many people on. If y'all haven't watched Your Honor, what did you wait for? Like, Your Honor was so good. Like... Somebody said, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Enough uh, with J-Lo in it. Y'all seen that? When at the end, he was beating her at the beginning. Then at the end, she whooped his ass. Enough is like my all-time favorite movie. I could watch it over and over and over again. I love Enough. That's my favorite movie. Now, as an adult, what advice would you give your 13-year-old self if you had a chance to travel back in time to visit the younger you? That is a good question. The advice I would give my 13 year old self would be to be more confident, you know, stand on what you say, you know, never double back on what you say. Like, like say if you said something and you was like, you know what, never mind, I'm gonna give in. You know, like don't give in too easy, be more confident, stand on what you say, don't be too nice. Like I would tell my 13 year old self a lot, especially the being nice part. Like I feel like being nice got me nowhere. And my nice people, could uh back me up on this like i feel like like being that sweetheart that nice person well let me go back because i ain't even gonna say it gave me you know what i gained a lot of blessings from being a good-hearted person you know what i'm saying putting good out into the universe so i can't even say i got nothing from it because maybe i even though i haven't got it from the people who i gave so much to the universe gave me so much back. You know what I'm saying? Like, every time I turn around, I'm blessed. Every time I turn around, I'm touching something. Every time I turn around, I'm just, you know, it's like, it's always okay for me. Like, I never had to worry. You know what I'm saying? It's like, when I'm worrying, next thing you know, I just get a blessing. So, it do. it is some pros with coming with being a good-hearted person. But I still tell my old self to, like, don't be too good. You know what I'm saying? Save my money. <laughs> save my money. For real. Like, that's all the stuff that I would tell my 13 year old. So, save my money. Be more confident. Stand on what you say. And don't be too nice to everybody. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Can you show your mom and sister, your nieces are cute? They all have that clear skin. Yes. Y'all, when I was just in Chicago, I was with my mom. And I should have I should have showed y'all. Like, I didn't, I should have showed y'all. Because if y'all would have seen my mom, y'all would have been like, y'all are twins. Like I told y'all before, y'all would have been like, y'all are freaking twins. But next time I'm in Chicago, I'm going to make sure uh, I show my mom and my sisters, y'all. I'm going to make sure y'all see them. <clears throat> what is your favorite memory about being a mom and co-parent? Um, My favorite memory about being a mom was... When Zaire was in the NICU, um, it's a different feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like when your child in the NICU and not at home with you, 
it's a different feeling. But I get, I feel like that's my favorite memory. Well, my favorite memory is when he came home. But it's just like going up to that NICU every day and seeing with him every day, knowing the condition he was in. It was just so, it's a different feeling. Like, it was... I would say that's my favorite memory because the bonding. You get what I'm saying? Like the bonding with me and Pa. Like the bonding, it was different. Like sometimes I be telling myself all the time, like, I remember you was in a Nikki. I remember the Nikki. I was holding you. I was touching your hands. You was touching me. I was looking. It's like a different bonding. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know how to explain it. But with Z, my favorite memory with Z is. I would say when she was born, when she was born, everybody was in the room. That was during the time where you could have everybody in the room. I had everybody in my room in Chicago in the hospital. Everybody was in the room telling me to push. When Z was coming out, they, everybody was screaming. So I look at all that hair she got. She got a lot of hair. Like, my favorite memory of Z was having her. You know what I'm saying? And my favorite memory was co-parenting. Just, um... My favorite memory of co-parenting, I would say just... Seeing each other, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, when Darnell bring Pa or I'm bringing the kids to him and we all together, I would say that's, like, my favorite part of co-parenting. Because, like, it's like we all together. Again, even though the situation we going through, it's still, like, we all together again. Like, when he come over here and see the kids or point blank, period. Like, when we all together again, like, that's my favorite part about co-parenting. Like, it's a different feeling. And it, it do be making me think twice about certain things. But y'all got to understand also. It's like y'all got that baby daddy when, when y'all come to get up with y'all kids. Y'all like, damn, you missed this. Ooh, ooh. But y'all y'all know that also feel like you can't go back to that. Like you can't go back to what drained you and what hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got baby daddies. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And then I be hearing people don't be trying to understand me. So, I ain't even going to get too much into it. What's your vibe in life right now? Just living life, taking it day by day, etc. Hey, babe. Hey, Mia Morgan Johnson from YouTube. Uh, yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm just having fun. I'm just living, taking care of my kids, <clears throat> doing as much as I can do while I'm here. Not trying to bring up like that deaf stuff and all that, but... I'm just trying to enjoy life and all that while I'm here. It's a lot changing. Not even with, like, people passing away. With, with, with a lot, like, times is getting hard and they changing stuff. A lot of laws changing. Y'all get what I'm Like, I don't want to get into it, but it's this law they've been talking about on TikTok where... I don't want to get into it, but I think y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, like what? They saying people not going to be able to... If you get pregnant, you got to keep... you. It's crazy. It's getting crazy out here. Like, times is changing, laws changing, rules changing, people changing. At this point, I just want to live my life. I want to live my life with my kids, take care of my kids, take care of myself, and just live at this point. Because we don't know what the fuck going on that day. Life is life. <laughs> okay? It's like everybody greedy nowadays. It's like everybody want a dollar. Everybody, like, I know we need money, but it's like every, it's just like greed and I don't got time for that. I don't get time for that. So I'm just here, y'all. I'm vibing. I'm living my life. I'm trying to enjoy my life while I could. And that's it. That's it. What is your middle name? Why? Y'all trying to Google me? No, nah, my middle name is Shermaine. I'm going to put it on the screen. Shermaine. My older sister's name is Charmaine. I don't know why my mama would keep the R out. What is, the, what is a Shermaine? What is Shermaine? That's just, I don't know, if that lady was on drugs, <laughs> Shemaine is crazy. Not Charmaine, but Shemaine is crazy. What is your favorite food? Soul food. I love yam, greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, yams, yams, uh, uh, <laughs> fried chicken, uh, fish, spaghetti, greens, sweet potato, cornbread, baked macaroni and cheese, cabbage, anything soul food, put it on my plate. What made you become a YouTuber? I don't even know. Um, one, me and Darnell, we y'all, my, my our real, real, real deep, deep, deep supporters know me and Darnell started off Facebook. We was doing these crazy wild skits on Facebook. Um, until one time, I don't, 
I don't know. Wait, let me go back, y'all. Because my real supporters know. So, me and Darnell was doing skits, crazy skits on Facebook, y'all. Like, we was going super viral. And then... I don't know if I started, I don't know if I seen somebody on YouTube, but I started YouTube first. I was blogging. Like, if you go on this page right now, if you go all the way down, you will see it's a it's a video of me and Z. That, I think that's our first video. I took her to a carnival or something. And that was my first, first video. And then, by me already going viral on Facebook, I was starting to get, like, some, 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 some clout to my YouTube page. So, Darnell squirts his way in. Now, that's the real T.Y. Everybody be at that time about some big homie made you. Big homie made you. Big homie made you. No, he didn't, boo. This was my YouTube page. Then he saw my YouTube page getting numbers. Because I was already having cloud like on Facebook and stuff for going viral. So, people started navigating towards my YouTube page. Then he tried to squeeze his little butt in. Tell him, let's do this. Thing. But it was all fan and Danny, though, because we was a team at the end of the day. But I don't know. I think I started watching somebody on YouTube. And I was like, I could do this. I could do this. You think you better than me? <laughs> so I just started vlogging me and Z. I just started vlogging and then it took off ever since then. Like, long story short, I saw somebody on YouTube I was watching. I forgot who. And then I was like, I could do this. And then I just started doing it. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um. Somebody asks, could you do more pranks and videos with Winter? Yes. Coming soon. Matter of fact, comment down below uh, what pranks y'all want me to do on Winter. That's what I want y'all to do. And skin bone is here. If you watching this, if you watching this video, I think he go home Tuesday. If you watching this video, skin bone is here. Comment down some pranks y'all want me to do on him too while he here. Uh, more story times. I got y'all on the more story times. Uh, more cooking videos. I got y'all on the cooking videos. <laughs> y'all, don't lie. I've been being lazy. I've been being lazy. I could do more work than I do. You know what I'm saying? I've been being lazy, but I got y'all. I got y'all. I need to stop. Hey Zay, I want to see a ski. You ain't homie blocks. He be you and you be him. <laughs> I think about it. <laughs> uh, hygiene, day and life, vlogs, cooking vlogs, Target haul. I got y'all. <laughs> Apartment tour, finally finished. Living room, I got y'all. <laughs> uh, you should do the rock, paper, scissors challenge with Z or do a, a mukbang with Z. I do need to do the rock, paper, scissors challenge. I should do that with uh, Darnell and Skinbone while he here. But I'm still doing it with Z, but I'm going to do it with uh, them. I should do it with them too while they here. Somebody said, please do more cookie video. Girl, I'm fat. <laughs> I got y'all. Somebody said, I love you. Uh, Bo, I love you too from YouTube. Uh, y'all trying to find the questions. Somebody said date night. I got y'all. Uh, I'm trying to figure out uh, how to ask this girl on a date. I already slid in her inbox. Don't judge me. Please don't judge me. Because I won't judge you. But y'all, yeah, I already slid in her DM. And I told her that she was cute or whatever. She responded. Or whatever. And, uh, she live in Atlanta. I live in Atlanta. But I'm trying to figure out how to ask her on a date. Because I don't want to be like... I still want to be feminine and I still want to be female. I don't want to be the stud. <laughs> so, I'm trying to figure out a way to, like, do I just ask and be like, hey, girl, can I take you to lunch or dinner? Like, I don't want to see how a man acts. I want to ask. Y'all help me. Help me. Because I don't want to sound stupid either. Because I don't want to ask like a man would. I still want to be my feminine self. I still want to be girl on girl. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be like a stud or like masculine. I still want to be feminine, you know? So, y'all help me out. Somebody said, how are you feeling mentally? Mentally, I've been better, y'all. Not going to lie. Mentally, I've been so much better. I'm not going to say I'm 100%, but I've been so much better mentally. Any room updates? Uh, y'all seen I got the couch. I'm just waiting on. I ordered me this table from Amazon, so... When that come and I put that up, well, when it come and I'm putting it up, y'all know I'm going to show y'all. But, y'all, my house is going to look like every house on TikTok because I'm not even going to lie. I stole all this stuff from TikTok. <laughs> if you go on TikTok and put it, you're going to be like, that look familiar. That look familiar. Yeah, because it's the Xavier house. I stole everything from TikTok. So, I'm waiting on my table to come that I stole from this girl house on TikTok. And, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
So when my table is uh, right now, my table is coming, my dining room table. Uh, and I want to go get a mirror. I want to get a huge, big mirror that I want to put right here. But I'll show y'all that later. What's your favorite place to eat in Chicago? Any hood restaurants. Uh, definitely Portillo, Super Sub, uh, the corner store. Shit, any good, anything in Chicago. Any good hood restaurant, Baba's, all that. Anything in Chicago that's in the hood, okay? Fat. <laughs> Fat. Somebody said, is your booty soft? Yes. It's not hard. <laughs> Somebody said, has your child ever asked uh, if he or she was the reason for you and your husband break up? Papa can't talk. Is Z? No. Z is so nonchalant. Z don't even care. Like, I'm not going to say she don't care and don't nothing affect her, but Z is very understanding. She like me. Like, we, I'm very understanding. Very, very understanding. I feel like Z got that for me. Z is very understanding. Like, if I tell her one thing, she understands. Like, she comprehends it. Like, she understands because certain stuff that she say, I ain't going to say what she say, but like certain stuff that she say and certain stuff that she know, I do want to say one thing. She going to tell her daddy. <laughs> Wait, what she going to tell her daddy? Uh, she said something. What did she say? Y'all, Zimmy said crazy stuff. She going to say, I forgot what the thing was about, but she going to tell her daddy, yeah, get Xavier back. We was like, what? Because <laughs> he was saying something. I forget. And Z just busted through to say, yeah, uh, get. She didn't even say mommy. She said Xavier. She's like, yeah, get Xavier back. I'm like, what? It is so funny, y'all. Everybody be telling him that. And I just be like, I just, I ain't gonna lie. I hope one day that he hear people and he understand it. And he understand because everybody tell him that. Everybody be like, get her back. Like, you tweaking. Get her back. Like, I'm not forcing that. Like I said, I'm living, I'm having fun. I'm not forcing nothing, but I'm not seeing her laugh, y'all. Everybody be telling this man all the time. Like, everybody be like, get her back. Even Z, <laughs> she said, you need to get Xavier back. Like, what? That's crazy. Um, But yeah, Z is very understanding. Like, Z knows she ain't the reason for nothing. Like, Z, Z is crazy. Z is Z. Y'all know Z. Um... Uh, do you want Darnell back? That was the, literally the next question right here. Do you want Darnell back? If he can get his shit together. Wait, do I want him back? No. If he get his shit together and do it like a 180 and I see like, Zan, Zaddy, I see you working on your sh I be like, Zan, Zaddy, but you know right now, no. What's your favorite 90s R&B singer and song? Beyonce, of course. All the Beyonce songs, of course. Lately, I've been hooked on Mariah Carey, y'all. Lately, I've been on Mariah Carey, bad. Don't forget about us, don't baby, don't. Then she said, I gotta shake it off, cause the loving ain't the same. And you keep on playing games like you know I'm here to stay. I gotta shake it off. It's like a, <laughs> we gotta get up out of here and go somewhere. I've been on Mariah Carey bed, y'all. But all-time favorite, Beyonce. Y'all know this. What's your favorite drink says liquor? Pink Moscato wine. Y'all know that. Uh, if it's going to be hard liquor, it's going to be Casamigos. But that's the end of y'all. Uh, make sure y'all follow me um, on IGN on Facebook. Everything is you know, Xavier. Everything is you know, Xavier. Make sure y'all follow me. Uh, like this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel. I love y'all. Don't forget to drop down What prank should I do on skim on y'all? Please uh, why he here cuz he ain't here for a long time I want to get him while he here um, Right now um, I'm gonna take pop pop. I should show y'all the stuff. I got from Target y'all Target racked up on a uh, Solid t-shirt so they got a whole bunch of solid t-shirts that so I just went to Target got pop out like five red solids five black solids white blue green they hit all solid so you know you got to pick that stuff up while they got them. They had, I just got Papa a bunch of stuff. He going to a birthday party today. Z still in Chicago. Uh, I'm going to take Papa to a birthday party at a uh, main event. I already got my clothes and stuff laid out. So I got all my stuff laid out. I got Papa stuff laid out. He ate and everything. Once we ready, we got to go pick up a gift. I'm just giving y'all a rundown of the rest of my day. Uh, we got to go pick up a gift for the birthday girl. And... 
that's all I got, y'all. I love y'all. Uh, definitely comment down below some stuff y'all want to see. <laughs> y'all comment down below. How should I do the, should I just do like a free raffle, like to spend a day with me, like from different, what I was just talking about? Like, for example, if I want to spend a day with a supporter in Chicago, like should I do like a free raffle and then pull it? You know y'all enter the raffle for free and then I just pull it. Should I do that? Or how do y'all want me to do it? Y'all let me know. I can get that pop in. We could do something. We could do bowling. We could do something, you know. I'll fly in Chicago, spend a day with supporters. We could get drunk, <laughs> smoke, whatever y'all want to do, you know. <laughs> but y'all comment down below. Give me some advice. Let me know. Like I told y'all, I always run Darnell. Darnell haven't helped me with nothing. I'll be giving him all these ideas. He don't help me with nothing. So, I got my own brain, y'all. But it don't run like that, like. One thing about Xavier, I'm not a business person, y'all. That's where I lack. Like, my sister, y'all, my sister is a business person. I'm an entertainer. You know, you don't have to have everything. I'm not, I don't have the business man, y'all. But let me know how y'all think I should do. I'm really thinking about, like, the free raffle. That makes sense. Y'all should enter. And then I pull somebody. Then I just fly in and spend a whole day with a supporter. I think that would be fair. So, <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. Y'all let me know. Turn that post notification bell so you know when Xavier is on your screen, y'all. And I'm out. I love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. And.